First news at 10, I'm John Jacklin. Both Minot High and Minot North Soccer came into tonight fresh off big wins. Minot High ran past Dickinson in a game that counted as two wins since the earlier game got canceled. And Minot North knocked off Williston in a 5-4 barn burner. Tonight, the Crosstown Rivals met at Dwayne Carlson. Minot High's Justice Amsbury was on the sideline and told me he loved this sunset. So here you go, Justice. I hope you're watching. We pick up in the latter half of the first. Magi up 1-0. And when Sam Achanis has time in the attacking third, you know he's going to pick out the right pass. He sets up Kyle Eklund, who powers the first time shot into the back of the net. A couple minutes later, and Kale Workman got subbed on into the right wing position. And he was putting on a masterclass in work rate. He chases down this ball, flicks it inside to Taysen Solper, and Minot High is clicking on all cylinders now. And you know if there's a lot of scoring, it's only a matter of time before Dylan Jackson gets in on the party. The center forward gets behind the center of the defense and dispatches the Magi's fourth goal of the night. Minot High wins, and they sit firmly in second in the conference standings. Tonight was the first ever varsity event at the new Mandan High campus. Could the Majets spoil the party? They come out rolling in the first set. That's in large part thanks to Everett Deschamps. The freshman comes through with a pair of aces to help her team to an early lead. On the other side, Kennedy Keller had a presence at the net all night. This one drops between the defenders for the point. The Majets brought the magic tonight, though. Kinsley Gilmore Blocks this one with ease up front, just like she does on the soccer pitch. Minot wins this one in four and moves up to 7-1 and one in conference play. And hey, it's a clean sweep for Minot Public Schools on the court. The Sentinels defeat Jamestown in five sets. North jumped out to a 2-1 set lead, but the Blue Jays dominated the third and fourth sets. But regardless of which side the momentum is on, the home team always has the advantage in the fifth set. And the Sentinels win 15 to 11. Don't look now, but they've won four straight matches and have crawled all the way up to sixth in the conference standings. And it's another sweep for Minot Public Schools. On the other courts in tennis, Minot High caps off an undefeated regular season in WDA and avenges an early loss to the Sabres. Also, a quick note, Magi Aiden Deal now sits second place in Minot High's all-time wins list passing David Zimmerman in 1984, and Minot North gets a road win. Sentinels defeat Bismarck High 6-3. We'll close out Class A action with girls swim and dive. The Majets defeat Legacy 103-82. Sam Von Balkorn was a double winner in the 50 and 100 freestyles. Well, our Redeemers volleyball moved up to sixth in the polls. Could the Knights keep the momentum going in Surrey? Early first set, home team trailing. Tavia Carlson goes for the long-range kill, and Chloe Spalding is at the right place at the right time. This was one of eight blocks for the sophomore Mustang. But very next play, Knights attack closer to the net. Here's Brooklyn Rodocker with the spike. May have taken a deflection, but it won't matter. Down and bounds, point ORCS. Tail end of the first, Knights in front. Road Dockers in the same position and opts for the light tap over the net, and it's just as effective. Her and Carlson led the match in kills with eight apiece, and the Knights get the sweep. They host Bishop Ryan on Thursday, and that's going to be a fun match. Let's close out with other Class B volleyball scores from around our area. Rugby, Botano, South Prairie Max, and DLB all register sweeps. MLS takes Bishop Ryan to five sets, but the Lions come out on top, and Kenmer Bobels sweeps Ray. That's all we have in sports. We'll be right back.